theme is Girls and Women in Science and it's a great follow-up to our theme last year in 2018 which was around science at work in Kenya in which we were working to diversify um, definitions of science and scientists and to make it seem accessible and important to everyday people in Kenya. And basically the objectives of this program is one to expose the girls on admission criteria of STEM subjects, of science subjects. As a follower, find the person who will move your idea forward. If you've read Long Walk to Freedom by Nelson Mandela, imagine yourself in a prison. How would you be a leader in a prison? That's the kind of leadership we want to talk about here. As a woman, what defines us is our strength. Strength to deal with everything, our versatility to deal with everything that is thrown at us. Why we need more women in spaces is so that we expose ourselves and allow ourselves to benefit from the broad range. Stop having this pressure to be liked. If you want to succeed, if you want to go far, if you want to make a difference, if you, have, if you want to have impact, stop having this pressure that you want to be liked it stops seeking approval. But I think what's more really important and really positive is that every one of you has really engaged in mentorship and in trying to pass on skills and be a good role model and ensure that the people who are coming up behind you can, you know, learn from your example and also I presume, you know, learn from maybe some mistakes you've made, which is always really important. Einstein Forum says that that person will come from Africa. No girl is limited. It doesn't matter where you come from. My name is Sylvia Mora and I am 15 years old. I, I went to St. Mary Goretti Girls Secondary School. I enjoy where I was being encouraged by Dr. Damaris for her experience when she went in life while she was a Maasai girl. It doesn't matter where, where you come from, yes. When I grow up, I want to be an air, an, an air hostess. At the same time, I want to be a mentor to go in schools and encourage pupils. In this afternoon, we have been taught about art and craft. We learn how to, to make some of the arts like rectangle and triangle. And then I learned, I didn't, actually I didn't know like Ebola can spread through shaking hands. No, our teacher taught us that Ebola can spread through shaking hands. In this life, you have to go out of your way and get what you want. That's how life is. If you want it, you grab it. There are things you don't ask for permission from anybody. You see it, you grab it. Be the one that shows the way. One of the best ones which would create jobs is what we call natural language processing meaning I don't have to speak to you in English. I can speak to you in whatever language, but you still understand. And all what we need to identify, what is normal and what is abnormal. There is that thing that, you know, they're like, you know what, I, I can wake up every morning and do this. For me, it's coding. If you take me away from coding, I have found ways. So I look forward to seeing a world free from new HIV infection. So the biggest challenge right now is upscaling that information through various media and we are trying as many forums as we can. When you go deep, you get to lead. Map 
cuts across every space of life. So there is a lot you can do with it, I believe. Northeastern part of Kenya, is it really reclaimable? Not all land is equal. The question is what are we trying to restore them to? Thank <music> you.